Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we had a really scary story going on in uh, on a cruise ship that had to evacuate because of a threat. We also have talk about some huge savings going on right now in the cruise industry, as well as people are calling Carnival out, saying one of their favorite little souvenirs, you're cheaping out and you're going away with them, and people are not happy. So our top story today has to be the Hertha Gruten ship, I'm going to, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, the Nord Njorge? N-O-R-D-N-O-R-G-E, Nord George, North George. Uh, okay, Norge. <laughs> All right. Anyway, they were uh, out of town in Norway when they received a threat. And police ordered the evacuation of not only the passengers, but all the crew members as well. 260 passengers, as well as 70 crew members, all left the ship while the police launched an investigation and searched the ship. The uh, passengers and the crew were brought to local hotels and they were served meals while the investigation was ongoing. Now, the police did not come out and say what kind of threat it was, and it led to large-scale speculation amongst the passengers on board. Obviously, the first one that came to mind was a bomb threat, right? That's automatically the first uh, thing you think of when they evacuate a whole area or evacuate a whole ship. Highly possible that that is the one that was called in. It could also be an, an active shooter threat, a stowaway on board. It could be numerous, numerous things, right? Somebody stowed away with a gun. It, it could be a lot of different things as, you know, on the ship. But the good news is the police did not find anything. The passengers are back on board. The crew members are back on board. And of course, that is now the topic of discussion around the cruise ship. Why did they have to get on the ship? This also left some, well, not why, but what was the actual cause of the threat? What was the threat? Police determined the threat was a false threat, a fake threat. Uh, but of course, if you, you were on that ship, I'm imagining you might have a little thoughts in the back of your mind of, well, what if they miss something, right? It's, no matter how small a cruise ship is, it's a big ship, <laughs> right? Uh, if it can hold 300 people, it's a fair size ship and a lot of areas to hide things, mechanical, below decks. But, you know, they brought dogs on, they, they searched the ship thoroughly. It looks like it is a fake, but of course, wow, scary situation whenever that kind of thing happens. And, uh, you know, airlines deal with it all the time, as well as certain buildings around uh, North America, etc. So um, good news is it seems like everything's okay and it was just a false threat. But uh, passengers on board have a story to tell all their friends for sure. Now we also, let's talk about in the news right now is, is so many cruise lines right now are offering huge, huge discounts. Discounts can be seen that passengers can sail on a cruise ship for $26 a day per person. Now, if you figure out how much you spend on a daily basis for your food, your drinks, coffees, etc., and and then compare that to $26 a day, I bet you're probably paying more than that on a daily basis uh, with your gas, your fuel, etc. The reason for this is some of the cruise lines are having trouble filling their ships in some cases. However, one of the other reasons is cruise lines have noticed something going on. They've noticed that the fare to get on the cruise ship has dropped, but the spending on board has gone up. So they have been contemplating the balancing act of, hey, if people are spending less just to get on the ship, they tend to spend much more when they're on the ship. And that's where we make our big profit, right? The markup on drinks, the markup on entertainment, the markup on all that kind of stuff, the specialty dining, 
is much higher than the actual cost of like profitability of just the base cabin fare when they spread it all out. And if they can lower fares, they can attract more people, even though they might be making the same amount of money because of the spending on board. Some cruise lines are looking at it that way. Other cruise lines are looking at it like, no, we want that base fare. We're going to keep our brand name high. This is our price. This is what we're sailing at. And so we'll see which one works. It's a very interesting situation. But hey, if you're looking for a cheap, cheap cruise this fall, you will probably not find anything better unless... Do I say the R word going into 2023? Uh, you know, the one I'm talking about where no one has any money? Well, that might bring cruise line prices dropping dramatically as well. Now, what is Carnival? Why are people upset on Carnival? Why are they calling them out? Why is John Heald having to defend something again? Uh, well, before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you want to keep up to date with all things cruising, all the tips, the tricks, money-saving features, anything going on in the world of cruising we'll cover here on the channel. And I hope with a little bit of lightheartedness, a little bit of entertainment, and I hope you get some value out of it as well. It doesn't cost a thing. It just tells YouTube, hey, let's share this video to more people and see if they're interested. And that's how it helps the channel grow. And again, I'd really, really appreciate it. Okay, people have noticed on Carnival lately that the ship on a stick, which is a little trophy reward that they hand out, for instance, winning trivia or winning a game show, they used to hand them out like hand over fist. Uh, almost every single thing that they were handing out an award for, you'd get a little ship on the stick. Passengers have been noticing, well, hey, all of a sudden they're giving out like lanyards now and little things like that and saving the ship on a stick for like a big event, like a, like a huge trivia event or something. They seem to be stingy with those right now. And that led to speculation that the ship on the stick is going away. And people are not happy. <laughs> and you know what? I can, t I can understand why. Because I collect the ship models. So when I go on a cruise ship, I, I, a brand new cruise ship I've never been on, I like to buy the ship model. I have 80 some ship models now. And it frustrates me when I can't buy one. Or I can't get one. And these aren't free. These aren't no rewards or anything like that like it is on Carnival. And people have grown to collect these. They've grown attached to them. Hey, it's a little talking piece. It's a souvenir from your ship. And they're saying, hey, what's going on? Are these going away? Well, John Heal came out and he said, no, no, guys, guys, just, just take a deep breath. <laughs> they're not going away. They're definitely not going away. It's a supply chain issue. And people said, well, that's your excuse every time you start cutting back things. Why can't I get the beer I want? Why can't I do that kind of dining anymore? You say it's supply issues. Well, in this case, I can pretty much guarantee it is supply issues for something as, as in inexpensive as a little ship on a stick um, as a reward. I have been, I was just recently on the Oasis of the Seas. I went to buy my ship model. They got none. I was recently on the Rotterdam uh, in Norway, went to buy the ship model. They have none. It is a supply chain issue, and it's not just for Carnival. It's right across all the cruise lines. They are having trouble getting some items. These are specialty items that are made, right? They're, they're, <laughs> and they're, they're not mass market. They're not making a million, two million of these things and sending them out to all the stores. So some things get put on the back burner when you have supply of your materials. So yeah, I don't think you have to worry about it, Carnival fans. I think those ship on a sticks will be around for a long, long time. They're just too popular for Carnival to get rid of. Well, let me know what you think. Do you think they are going away? What do you think about being on a ship that had to evacuate from a threat and searched and probably you know what kind of threat it was? Kind of scary. And are you looking at one of those really cheap cruise fares and searching for them? Because there are some huge savings out there right now. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.